Hello, I'm Mrs Mann, Curriculum Area Leader for English. I'm just going to go through a few reminders about what Year 11 have got ahead of them for English Language and English Literature this year, including confirmed changes from the exam board for English Literature. For English Language, there are no changes to the exams for students in this year group, so they will still complete both exams, um, both equally weighted, one looking at fiction texts and one looking at non-fiction texts. Both of those exams still focus on the section A, which is reading, and section B, which is writing. So students need to make sure that they're equally good at both of those skills. There is also no change to the spoken language assessment. So this is still a requirement for the GCSE. Um, students, if they haven't done so already, will need to create a brief presentation which they'll deliver to their teacher and possibly a small number of their classmates. The changes to the English literature exam have now been confirmed by Ofqual. Um, schools now have the option to drop one of the five elements of the literature course. Um, so the exams now will form two papers, a compulsory paper, and then what they're calling an optional paper. All students must study um, a Shakespeare play for us, that's Macbeth, and all schools must study unseen poetry that forms a compulsory text. And then schools have a choice of two out of the three remaining texts. We've already studied the conflict poetry and we've already studied Frankenstein. Um, so that means that we will not be studying an inspector calls for this year group. The new format for the exams then for literature is paper two will be the compulsory paper with Macbeth and Unseen Poetry and paper one becomes the options paper, which we will do the power and conflict poetry and Frankenstein. There are lots of things that you can do to help your child to revise for both English language and literature. And if they tell you that they can't revise or that they've got nothing to do to revise, then they're wrong. For literature, it's about knowing those texts well. Really encourage your children to reread the text or parts of the text to help them to be confident with the plot and the characters and the ideas in all of those texts. Um, they can watch stage productions, film versions, TV versions. That will all help with those basic plot details. Um, and ask them to tell you what they know about the text. What do they know about the characters? What do they know about the main events? You can check that they're completing the home learning tasks. As they get further on throughout the year, they'll be completing more and more essays. More and more of those will be asking to be done in timed conditions, and that will really help them to consolidate the knowledge of all aspects of the course. Students will need to know quotations. They don't need to know hundreds, but it's helpful to encourage them to talk about key quotations. It's not so much the number of the quotations that they know, it's, it's what they can do with the language in those quotations that they're talking about. So ask them to tell you a quotation from one of the texts and then to explain to you what it shows about a character or a theme in the text. And that will help them to become more confident in talking about that language. To be successful in literature, students are going to be asked to have an opinion on the text that they've read and the characters, themes and ideas within those texts. And believe it or not, that's an area that students struggle on. They worry that they've not got the right opinion or the right answer. And the brilliant thing about literature is their opinion is right as long as they can justify it with examples from the text. Um, they need to practice articulating their viewpoint and they need to practice being confident in putting forward that viewpoint. So, for example, a Frankenstein question might be, how far would you agree that Victor Frankenstein is an evil man? And it's up to students to justify um, just to what extent they would argue that he is an evil man or not. Similarly with Macbeth, it could be to what extent is Lady Macbeth responsible for the tragic events that occur? And again, it's up to students to justify just how far she might be seen as being responsible. Um, it's a great way to help students to revise, to, to ask their opinions on these texts. Um, you can ask your children to talk to you about some of these main characters and get them to really think about their viewpoints on their actions and the consequences of those actions. 
the sooner students start their revision, the better, the easier things are going to be for them. And now is a really good time to start looking back over all of the work that was done in year 10 to help consolidate the learning. Um, I would suggest starting with the text or the topics that they feel less confident with to build up those confidence levels. It might be rereading a text or looking for a simplified version of the plot to help consolidate understanding, making mind maps for key characters and themes, adding quotations on there to help develop understanding, practice analysing the effect of language in key quotations, so thinking about why a particular description might have been chosen, what it makes us think about a character or a setting, and using practice papers as a starting point for planning responses and writing um, either partial or full responses. These can always be handed in to teachers for feedback. We recommend that students make use of lit charts for each of the texts that we study for literature. These are great for summarising the plot, giving in-depth summaries of characters and themes, and they really do promote higher level thinking and higher level discussion um, about the text that we're studying. Some of these we will dip into in lessons, but they will be available for students to explore independently. We highly recommend that students do their own independent wider reading to help them to develop that wider knowledge of a text and that higher level thinking. So we have a range of articles um, that we think would be useful for students to read, but we also encourage them um, to do their own research and do their own wider reading, um, which they can bring to an essay. There are revision guides available for all of the texts that we study for literature and there's also one for English language. All of these are available in the school shop or you can buy them online. Um, they go through characters, themes, key ideas, essay planning, sample essays, so they can be a really valuable revision activity. To support students with their independent revision, we'll be setting weekly home learning tasks they will alternate between language and literature and will cover some of the more challenging questions on those exams. They are compulsory. However, if students wish to complete those tasks with support from English staff, every Tuesday we have sessions down in the English department from 3 till 3.45, delivering those same revision tasks. So students are more than welcome to come along um, and take part in those um, with staff support there. If you have any other questions about anything in the PowerPoint, feel free to contact me. My email address um, is at the bottom of the PowerPoint slide there.